Hickok 45 out for some 12 gauge fun with a Winchester SXP Extreme Defender. Let's get extreme. One, two. That was pretty extreme. How about a little extreme pot smoking? <laughs> An extreme target destruction. Boom. <laughs> do I have another one? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it holds five, I think, in the tube. <laughs> we'll, we'll double check. I'll call up my relatives from Kentucky and let them count as I load it. <laughs> Give them a test. Give them a quiz today. Yeah, I thought Joe might be interested in seeing this. Uh, I know Spud's had one. Kind of different. I mean, it's a Winchester, whatever, 1200, 1300, that whole series of Winchester firearms, the SXP. And uh, it's got a door breacher on it. It's uh, got some other things here. And I put that on and I'll, I'll talk about, about that. It's got, well, I'll talk right now. It has a spacer there so you can uh, lengthen your, your length of pull, extend your length of pull by uh, putting that in. I'll show you over on the table. And it also has a, an extra comb. You can, uh, you know, raise the comb lower and have a higher lower comb to fit you better. And uh, so there's some pieces that come with it. I did not change them because I don't know who will end up with it. And, and uh, you know, I can just slip this on, give me a little added length. And for now, because someone who is five foot three might, you know, end up with this firearm or something and just have to take that off perhaps, okay? So if it were mine, I would, I would get it to where it would fit me a little bit better. So for now, let's stick this back on there. Give me a little more length, okay? And uh, yeah, but the most important piece of it before you can go too far is the door breacher. I've got a neighbor, this is just great. You know, every time I go over there, he never answers the door. You know, I have to knock, 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 and hard time getting his attention. So now, while I have this for a week or two, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take his door down. Really, I got a door breacher. I've never had one on a shotgun. I'm just gonna stick that into the door, the hinges, or whatever you're supposed to do, <laughs> and blast his door off. Just kidding, I wouldn't do that. No, uh, yeah, the SXP, a little different, you know, in color and uh, configuration. It's kind of the tactical mall ninja. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean that. No, it's the tactical version of this. You got your Picatinny rail, and you could put your red dot on there, or whatever, 50 power scope. You know, pretty easily take it off and uh, you know the pistol grip most important thing but uh, I don't want to make too much fun of it this feel really good to a lot of people especially if you, you love the feel of an AR of course I do too but my problem with that I don't really like pistol grips on shotguns necessarily I can live with it but I don't love them you know I've got the M4 Benelli it's got a uh, pistol grip, but I generally I'll pump or you know, I'm just not crazy about it, but you know, it works and As I've said before to clarify that a pistol grip feels really good when you're shooting <laughs> How's that for profound when you pick it up and you're you're ready to shoot, okay? The act of firing, you know, you get great control, you know, it's steady. It's just wonderful It's just every other time you know, I don't like it. When you're messing with the gun, put it in a, in a case or handling it, it's just this extra piece on it that's just always in the way. Uh, and even getting it into, you know, grabbing it and getting a hold of it to shoot, to me, it's a little awkward sometimes. So, uh, you know, anyway, but some people love them and uh, you've got it on this. This thing retails, MSRP is around 550 bucks, something like that. So depending on what you can find it for. Uh, so can I shoot it again? Can I? Really? Uh, it is a purdy shotgun, you know? Look at that. <laughs> has an aluminum receiver. It's not very heavy. Uh, I, you know, it, it's, they're made in Turkey. Let me make sure you know that, okay? It is Winchester, but you know, it's not Winchester that we, some of us grew up with. It's uh, you're made in Turkey. And uh, uh, you know, a lot of good shotguns though are made in Turkey. And uh, doesn't mean it's a turkey just because it's made in Turkey. Uh, so it's got a crumb line barrel and, and uh, uh, chamber. Uh, what else about it? Uh, <laughs> one thing that's a little interesting, it's on this color of it, you know, the, you know the desert tan or flat dark earth, whatever it is. You know, the site is also that color. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, it might have been nice. If it were mine, I would have already had that front sight painted white or red or black or something you know not you know i 
I'm just not sure that's the best color for the front sight. But it allows me an excuse, an alibi, you know, if I can't hit anything with it. Right, why don't we go ahead and jump into some slug action, Winter? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, slugs. That's the ultimate test for any shotgun. If it won't shoot a slug, uh, should we put one in? Oh, let's just we'll start down here, under here. Now, one thing I've noticed, yeah, I'll get that. In terms of negatives and positives, it seems like you've got to really have that shell lined up, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, lateral. It, it, maybe it's just kind of, it's new. I mean, it's working better with this hand. That's four. Yeah, it's, yeah, here we go. Here, five. It's real easy to hit the edge and not, not get it lined up. Yeah, five. Holds five. Five plus one. Uh, I don't know, maybe a little contouring would help with that. I don't know. I'm just used to shotguns, my old Mossberg, where you could close your eyes and it could be pitch dark and you just feed them in there, you know, without any trouble, or 870, that kind of thing. All right. No, I, I have actually shot a little bit did in a Sunday uh, morning shoot around, and the sight seemed pretty much on, although it loosened up after that. I really, boy, I was about to lose that rear sight, so I tightened that up. And uh, we're back in business. I think. Okay. Well, let's just go over and wake up that big old disc of steel over there. Yeah, that one right there. Look at that swing. I wonder why. Let's try that red one on the left. Let's try it again. Yeah, I thought I went low. Probably. Okay. Let's try that one on the far right. Not sure what I'm looking at over there. Looks like a... All right. Makes a pretty nice rifle. While we're doing that, why don't we just try the uh, ram? <laughs> yeah, well, can I shoot some more of those? So the sights seem pretty much on there. Not bad. You know me, I like to make a rifle out of almost any shotgun. And these slugs enable me to do that. So, ah, make a, a slugster out of it. Always adds to the, the fun, the versatility. Especially if you have a door breacher on your shotgun. Because, again, it's just annoying when people don't answer the door. So you want that door breacher handy. All right, you know what? We've got a trash can here. Uh, <laughs> you think I should? You think it'll go through it? Oh, you know what I just noticed? I think there's a cowboy back there. Let's see if we can hit the cowboy through the trash can. <laughs> we did. <laughs> so, what did you learn from that? Other than the fact that I'm an incredible shot, you learn that you don't want to hide behind a trash can. Somebody's after you, okay? What's that two liter think he's doing sitting right there? Woo! All right, let's go back over there and uh, bang on the gong a little more. <laughs> Look at him swing. <laughs> I love that. All right, what else did I not tell you about the thing? Uh, well, as you can tell, you could pop a red dot on there if any trouble. Uh, seems to hold five plus one, uh, which is six, by the way. And uh, you have, uh, oh yeah, one thing I want to mention, the, the door breacher is also a choke. It's a, uh, uh, you know, screw and choke, of course. And when I say of course, some people are new to guns, don't realize that. We're clear, yeah, and we're open, okay. But yeah, you can unscrew that. It screws into the barrel. The barrel is threaded, yeah. And it is an Invector Plus. Now, same as my Browning over and under. So you could, uh, if you want to make it a turkey gun, you get a turkey choke or whatever you want to do with it, you know, and screw it in there and make it a turkey gun. Yeah, whatever, okay? Uh, no <laughs> pun intended. I was trying to continue a lame joke there. Let's see, I've got a, yeah, some buckshot. Let's shoot a little buckshot and make sure it'll shoot that. So, you know, your pump shotgun, these Winchester, you know, pumps been around forever. And, uh, yeah, pretty good old guns on my first ones. 
pump guns or guns, shotguns period was Winchester. And there we got that open. It's it's a little yeah, it needs a little breaking in, feels to me like. And uh but I like shotguns, I like pump shotguns. They tend to work. And uh like I say, this one is okay, but it seems like it doesn't always want to line up right away. I have to jiggle it a little bit. There we go. So we got double lot buck. Okay. I think this would look good on that trash can. Let's see what kind of spread we get. I'll shoot just below that hole. Do I have the safety on it? There we go. Let's hit it again on the side. <clears throat> Wicked stuff. Wicked stuff. Oh, look at this uh, thing of water. Cat litter container. Yeah. <laughs> you won't forget that one. And how about a two liter on the post? And while we're playing around, uh, why don't we try some double lot buck on the gong? Now, y'all listen, you'll be able to hear better than I can because I got my ears in and you don't. I'm going to see if we can hear it on the gong. Yeah, I think I heard a little bit hit. Yeah. Just, that didn't prove anything, but, you know, just to let you know, uh, double hot buck reaches on out there. Uh, it's not recommended for deer hunting at 80 yards or anything, but, you know, that's what firearms and shooting and, they, you know, as long as you do it safely, it's just having fun and trying to shoot things that you shouldn't be shooting. You know, we've gotten criticism. You probably have, too, at times. You've got a little pistol at the range or your carry pistol and you just can't resist trying to hit a whether it's a steel target or paper target maybe or something out at 50 yards or 90 yards or 200 yards and you know and someone over there looking at well what an idiot you know that's not what that pistol's for it's not what that gun is for well maybe he's right but uh, a rifle a handgun for whatever you want it to be for if you're safe right it's it's a it's a hobby it's an endeavor it's a challenge it's like throwing a baseball shooting an arrow and uh, we just like to see what what we can do uh, reaching for the outer limits you know of our ability sometimes it doesn't matter if it's always practical you know right you know that well i do a lot of that just just messing around at distance and up close and all that so i'm not going to keep you too long let me can i shoot it one more time let's put some uh, bird shot in here and uh we'll wrap it up so i've given you pricing and everything uh you know it's I, I guess it's a good look. I can't decide whether it's a, a good looking shotgun or it's a worse looking shotgun. <laughs> I can't decide. So somewhere between that, uh, that's what you get. Okay. And uh, here I go. Here's the pump on. Pretty nice, nice gun. Apparently works. Uh, I could saw off the pistol grip and probably enjoy it. I don't think I, even though I, you probably believe me on those uh door breacher stories i told you i really don't have a, a big need for that so i would probably take that out that would reduce the length of the thing a little bit wouldn't it and i'd saw off the pistol grip and uh let's spray paint it black and i'd have a pretty good shot <laughs> all right you know the sights are right on uh, of the shooting i've done i think i shot some slugs in the sunday video and then today and I haven't shot it a great deal, uh, but it seems to shoot right on. Right on, bro. All right. What else needs to be shot? Well, mainly that thing right there. Ah, it got away from me. <laughs> Tried to hide. Didn't want to be shot too much. So anyway, the SXP... Uh, extreme defender that's what it's called and uh, we've ex defended ourselves extremely today with it and that seems to work you know again a little awkward on lining up it's, it's like uh, they just need to kind of like a magazine well on a handgun it needs a little more of a, of a well there to, to, to hit the hole and that kind of thing and it seems like it it, it would 
these little breaking ends. Somebody needs to sit with it in front of the TV watching her favorite shoot 'em up movie and do that about 10,000 times or a thousand times. And it would be a little bit smoother, maybe. But, uh, you know, it works. I have any problems with it, and uh, other than the sight loosening up, and it seems to be tight now. And there it is. And, and like I say, I put that on so I wouldn't have to put the extenders on, take that off. But but I have those. They come they come with with this shotgun. I didn't even take them out of the bag. That's another comb. Or if you have a higher, I think that's a higher comb. If you want to get up on it a little bit higher, like if you put a I don't know a scope or red dot that's uh, that would sit up higher, or if you're if your face is just smaller, you need a higher comb. I don't know, vice versa. And then this is a rail that fits up here on both sides. You want to hang toaster on it, we're going to do. But anyway, that all is part of the package. Okay. So there it is, Extreme Defender. And uh, uh, for what it's worth, Winchester, around 550 uh, you know, MSRP. And I don't know how, I think it, it came out in uh, said SHOT Show 2020. Okay, so it's been out, you know few years and we're just getting around to it life is good oh yeah that's better this is a great gun for defense oh hey didn't see you guys there uh while i've got you here i want to remind you of our friends over at talon grips and ballastall talon grips makes uh grips can you believe it uh for all different types of firearms you can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture uh it just sticks right on there you know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballastol.com, TalonGunGrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter. The Real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.